Hello, I'm Tim Crow. Welcome to Norwich City Central. What's going on everyone? It's Lewis here from Norwich City Central. An incredible weekend for the Canaries and I'm so, so proud of my club, Norwich City and everything we stand for as a football club. Leeds United won Norwich City 3 and uh, Norwich City go back to the top of the table. A brilliant performance from Norwich City. We showed such grit, such determination and this is going to be how social media have reacted to Norwich City's 3-1 win over Leeds. Um, I'm honestly in shock. I've already uploaded my match review. Please feel free to watch it. And I was a bit, sh I was a bit in shock, a bit lost for words, but Norwich City is showing such grit, such determination and we can honestly get top two. We've only lost one away game all season and that came in August and just my overall thoughts before we get into what social media thinks. I just couldn't be more proud of the team. We was we showed passion, we showed determination on and off the ball. When Leeds United did have the ball, we pressed them well and we, we just it was a near enough perfect performance from Norwich City with the youngsters in Ben Godfrey, Jamal Lewis and Max Owens having superb games and in what is a which is an intimidating atmosphere. Norwich City were just brilliant and the youngsters can be very, very proud of their performance, as can everyone, because it was a truly special night for the Canaries. Uh, let's get into how social media have reacted to Norris City's incredible 3-1 win to Leeds, and we go top at the table. Ben Gilby says, We've got no money, a team of kids and lower league players. Leeds have thrown everything at us, but our team fight for each other, their coach and fans. Money can't buy that, so proud tonight. Look at Wolves last season, they won the league, and I hate the phrase, buying the league, um, because obviously you can't buy the league, but... Wolves spending certainly meant they were going to be the clear favourites. Um, we know with the like Ruben Neves. How is he a Wolves player? No disrespect to Wolves, but he should be at a top six club um, easily. Ruben Neves. So they, they. But what Norwich City do is we haven't got a lot of money, um, but what we do is we promote this brilliant philosophy. And the, it's, Connor Southwell did a great interview with Stuart Webber, which is now on YouTube. Um, and Stuart Webber talks about them obviously having limited Norwich City having limited funds. We're a self-funding club. We've, we've got limited funds. Um, but what we do, we, we're trying to promote a culture and a philosophy through which we bring young talent in and develop them into superb, superb assets for Norris City who could potentially get sold on for a lot of money. And that's what I mean, this brilliant philosophy of bringing the youngsters through and they were terrific. You've got the experienced players like Timu Puki who, who, who show great composure and really drive the team, as does Tim Krull. And overall, I just couldn't be more proud of this team. Fark has developed a winning mentality into this team as well. Norris City have only lost two games since August in the league, which is astonishing. Uh, now Ipswich coming up, surely, surely that's going to be a win and surely we can complete our decade of dominance against them as Norwich are going up and Ipswich are going down as the old chant goes. Brilliant. Uh, ben Mounts quickly says, how obsessed are these commentators with the Leeds narrative? Pretty embarrassing. Norwich have lost one away match in the league all season. Look, it's quite obvious the national media want Leeds to go up. Leeds are, let's be honest, Leeds are a big club. They've got great history and they do, everyone wants Leeds to go up in terms of a national media perspective. And Norwich City haven't got enough exposure, but yeah. We've only lost the one away game all season and we deserve to be up there and hopefully national media start looking at us as what one of the best teams in the league because we are, we've, we've proven that today. Um, uh, so Matt, Matt Johnson says, not one Leeds fan saw that coming. In fairness, not one Norris City fan saw a win to that extent coming. Truly superb in every respect. Every player superb. Now take that into next week's game versus Ipswich and don't lower ourselves like we usually do against the town. Yeah, in recent, in recent games, we haven't been at the best against Ipswich, but today, let's talk about today, truly superb. Um, Mario Ramcic and Tom Tribal, I thought, were excellent. We, we, they made so many tackles in the final third. Mario Ramcic is a player who's really getting stuck in and he's improved so much since last season. Tom Tribal, we all know the quality he possesses on and off the ball. As I talked about, the, the young defence were terrific and the players, Eni Buendia, Anel Hernandez and Stephen, all had good games. They all worked really hard off the ball. They're all really creative as well and of course Team Ipuki, brilliant. In every respect, we was fantastic and Leeds United was second best. Vital Norwich says, a statement victory for Norwich, magnificent performance and back up to top of the table. Sets up nicely Ipswich next week. Certainly, mate. Um, it really was a statement victory to the whole of the Championship. This was a chance for Leeds United to go six points clear of Norwich. It would have meant Norwich City was certainly back into the pack. Um, but no, a very, very special performance from Norwich City and it's definitely a statement victory and the Championship clubs have surely started to get a look at Norwich instead of Leeds as one of the best teams in this division. And yeah, really, really exciting times to be a Norwich City fan. Craig Bailey sums that up. What a game of football. I'm exhausted just watching it. How about playing in it? Uh, I mean, the Norwich City players' application was superb. As I said, we pressed Leeds United really well. We showed great desire and we deserved to win the game. That second half performance was stunning, um, says... Adrian controlled it. Yeah, game management has sometimes been a problem so far this season. I remember, what was it, Bolton at home where we were 2-0 up and then we just let Bolton have two easy goals and they almost they almost got a point out of the game. 
for Norris it is game management and certainly get a better look at Birmingham at home in recent weeks as well against Sheffield United it wasn't the best I think we did invite pressure but Sheffield United are a good team but no the, the, the game management was superb and you know, we we didn't go all out to get that you know third fourth goal. We we just we just kept playing our style of football, defended really well, soaked it up, and then hit them on the break. Very superb. Houlihan is magic. Oh, Houlihan, what a player. He says uh, unbelievable. Weathering the storm first thirty, but that work rate second half was unreal. We are top of the league. That's something I want to keep touching on. That work rate from Norwich City it was absolutely superb, and I'm so pl- so glad that so many Norwich fans appreciate the work rate we we put in because we kept pressing leads. We, we you know we gave them no time on the ball. In the first half, look, the, the first half we d- we did leads. Leads were getting in some very promising areas, but in the second half, you can see how how important our fitness is and how 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 great how great our fitness levels are because we kept going, we kept pressing them, we allowed them no, no time on the ball and deserved the victory. Uh, Connor Southwell, I said he did an interview with Stuart Webber um, on the Football Writer Norwich City YouTube channel. Go and check that out because it's an hour and a half interview and Stuart Webber says some really great things which I'm sure you guys will want to hear. Uh, Connor says, we speak so much about how good Norwich are in possession but they, the way they control leads out of possession was simply tremendous. Setting traps with their pressing and controlled proceedings throughout. That is a performance from a promotion winning side, pure uh, ecstasy. Yeah, unreal mate. Um... And I was talking about the pressing, you know, we pressed in the right areas of the pitch. And it wasn't just, you know, everyone was pressing, everyone was putting in a real shift. Um, Evan Buendia to win, to win the second goal, tackled the Leeds United player, and then from that we get the second goal. Um, and yeah, we pressed brilliantly, we allowed Leeds very little time on the ball, and it was absolutely superb. And it would have been brilliant to get a clean sheet as well, because that's only one clean sheet in 11 now, and we did deserve a clean sheet for the, the energy levels and the determination we, we put into this game. Um... John says, fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Back in your box, Leeds, nothing else to say. Yeah, absolutely brilliant, as I said. I think that's our best performance all season. Uh, Walk says, what a team performance that is. Completely outbattled Leeds, second half. Great spirit. Yep, going 2-0 up. You're still a bit nervous with Norris City. Of course, we're, we're, uh, Norris City's... If, if we aren't going to go up this season, our downfall will probably be not scoring enough goals. Uh, sorry, not uh, conceding too many goals. We score so many goals, we're, we're second most in the league. But our probably downfall is we are conceding too many goals if you look at the other teams around us. Um, but it, the second half was brilliant. We defended so well against some Leeds, some Leeds t- players who have got a lot of talent. Uh, Johnny Balkin says that really was as good counter-attacking display as you're ever likely to see. A masterclass in a huge game. So satisfying to see. Statement. I remember talking about in my Leeds United view uh, review um, back in August how we was outclassed by but they also outclassed Farker and although I've never been Farker out I've been struggling to see you know in, in last season how we're going to adapt but what we we've adapted so well and, it, and Farker's come on so much as a coach and a manager he's promoting these young players through and teaching them some really valuable lessons and they're turning into top talents and yeah it was a masterclass from Farker in such a huge game and I'm so satisfied and it was a, really was a statement victory for Norwich City. Um, Chris says, have to say, Norwich were excellent. Quality young team and out shit out house leads in their own backyard. Top effort going up those lads. I think that is a Leeds fan, so fair play to Chris. And yeah, Leeds were second best. I think Leeds could have put in a better performance, but what Norwich City did show in crucial points of the game, in particular in that first half, was a real desire from especially the youngsters to, to, to block Leeds from scoring. And we was brilliant. Um, little Norwich, of course, nice to, nice to get through our blip and tough fixtures and still be in touch with the top. Let's not forget the fixtures we've had. We've had West Brom away, Birmingham at home, and Sheffield United at home, and then um, Leeds away. So those four fixtures, West Brom, Sheffield United and Leeds, they're as tough as they come, and we've come out of it top of the league. That shows that Norwich City have got a promotion spirit. And I mean, if you do look at when Norwich City have struggled this season, is it actually against the top teams? If you look at the mini-league between the top six clubs, um, top six clubs when Derby were in there, certainly, Norwich City were actually bottom of that mini-league, so we have struggled against the top teams, but... Tonight we we just showed so much character, so much talent, and we deserve we deserve the victory one hundred percent. A few more comments now. Um, Lee says credit where credit's due. Norris City had five or six terrific performances tonight. Aaron looks a real prospect. Fair play Leeds, another uh, fair play Lee, another Leeds fan. Max Aaron's was superb. There was a key moment in this game in the seventy fifth minute where the ball comes across the box. Max Aaron's such a fearless attitude gets his legs on it and we clear the ball away and that could have been a key moment if Leeds got you know to make make it 2-1 with 15 minutes left because we know how Norwich City have, you know sometimes crumbled defensively and he deserved a goal as well um, brilliant and Max Aaron's has got so much and he's going to be a Premier League player whether that's with Norwich City 
it remains to be seen. But I think he will become a Premier League player with Norwich. If not, he'll certainly be at a top six club. 19 years old, so, so special. Um, Mike, Mike Ward says, can't think I've ever been proud of as a Norwich, Norwich fan. Wonderful, staggering performance. Perfectly sums it up, mate. I'm just so proud to be part of this Norwich City, Norwich City run at the moment. And I can't wait, you know, being a season ticket holder at Carrow Road is a very, very special time because... We're probably playing our best football since the Lambert days, if not better than the Lambert days. You know, this 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 season could be more memorable than the Lambert days. Could even be more member, memorable than the Nival Worthingham days back in what two thousand and four. This is a very special time for Norwich City, and you know, this whole century. This is probably some of the best football we've been playing, and we're not even in the Premier League. I'm just so so proud, and fair play for Weber to coming in and changing the whole philosophy around the club. Um, Outstanding. Finally, let's end with Ben Bray, who says, What a performance. Outstanding to a man. This is an incredible team, and I could not be prouder to be a Norwich City supporter right now. Get in there. I think that sums it up with hashtag top of the league. Coming up against Ipswich now, that's going to be a huge game, and my one issue would be just to, just to defend set pieces, but we've, we've got so much talent, and you can see us hitting easily three, four, five goals against Ipswich. It's going to be a tough game, of course. A derby's never easy, but if we play like we did against Leeds... Um, I'm very, very excited to put it that way and I cannot wait. There's going to be some great content coming out of Ipswich Away. Um, yeah, so Ipswich Away next weekend and I'm absolutely buzzing. Thanks for watching how social media reacted to Norris City's 3-1 win over Leeds. Any Leeds fans in the comments, let me know what you thought of your team and whether you think you're going to get top two. As for Norris City, they go marching on. Get in there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.